Hello learners, I Dr. Anshu Mathur welcomes you to the NIOS studio for the course number 509. Today we are going to learn about the contemporary ideas and practices in relation to social science curricula. When we refer to social science, it is a major category of academic disciplines concerned with society and the relationships among individuals within a society, within a group. Social science is a whole as many branches, each of which is considered as social science. The social science terms has derived from social and science. Social means relating to human society and how it is organized. Then so science refers to the study of the physical and natural world and phenomena, especially by using systematic observation and experiment. Thus, social science is a social uh, umbrella term which includes geography, economics, linguistic, political science, anthropology, communication, sociology, psychology, criminology, law and what not. It is all about society and human. Thus, social science is an umbrella term for a study which deals with human beings, their behaviors, their growth and development, relationships, resources they use and the various institutions they require to function and carry on their life smoothly. For example, we study about family, school, workplace, government, judiciary, recreation, etc. That makes social science a complete science related to history, anthropology, economics, sociology, geography, psychology, political science and linguistic. The discipline of history to determine the concepts, origin, study primary sources, documents that define and address the concept events, people and analyze the development over time, which makes social science a complete science. The discipline of geography to locate where the concept was first developed, map its movement from one continent to nation to another and recognize the power of the diffusion of ideas and example of global linkage. The sociology is to examine the role of individuals, groups, and institutions and their relationships and responsibility to the common goal. The discipline of political science on the other hand to determine the developing meaning of the concept it is promoted or limited through existing political institutions to study examples of actual practice related to the common good and to acknowledge the need for citizen involvement in closing the distance between the ideal and reality. Communication and abilities from language and the fine arts to enable students to express their understanding of the concept in a personally meaningful way. Thus, the nature of social science explained as an independent subject and as a unified subject. As an independent subject, social science include all kind of human beings, society and their surroundings and as a unified subject, it is all about mankind's history, geography, political science anthropology and education. Here we can refer the picture for more understanding like women, men basic needs, women's men's basic activities which includes production and consumption, secondly government and organization, thirdly communication and transportation, then aesthetic and religion, lastly education and recreation. All becomes social sciences as history, geography, political science, social science, psychology, anthropology, etc. History, geography, political science at upper primary stage and the history, geography, political science and economics at secondary stage. Now we will discuss about the aims of teaching social science at modern context. The aims of teaching social science is to provide knowledge related to culture and civilization. Every civilization needs a culture to develop and has the developed culture to give it, give it to the next generation as it is to generate the education for democracy. We the Indians need to know about everything. We need to progress the democracy. That is why we need social science education for our masses. Development of civil qualities that is essential part of any nation to develop. Development of social behavior, knowledge of social development, creating social knowledge, all round development of personality, Development of the feeling of universal brotherhood that is essential for the present time to show the significance of mutual dependence. Development of the power of reasoning and thinking. 
ability to mold oneself according to the environment, then development of good habits and suitable proficiency, socialization of a student, development of modernism, development of social moral values that is the aim of teaching social science. We will discuss the objective of the teaching social science curriculum in modern era. The objectives of the social science were always been to provide the knowledge of natural and social environment. It is to make us know how man can fulfill their needs, to develop human qualities in students, to know duties towards human society, to develop imagination, critical thinking, reasoning, power in students, to provide knowledge and prudence to students, to enable students to work according to the environment, to develop desirable attitude, to provide training in a good behavior, to develop fundamental proficiencies, to develop comparison, analysis, summary and evaluation, to develop feeling of cooperation, to acquire with the social thinking, to cooperate with societal and societal activities, actively to pro prove a social value and the feeling of universal brotherhood. Again, when we talk about the learning outcomes of the social science, learning experiences focusing on primary social studies provide children with opportunities which are listed like development and interest and curiosity in the world. Child should know what is world and how it is growing towards modern era. Develop disposition of responsible citizenship, value and respect similarities and differences among people. Children should value respect and appreciate the variety of cultural identities and heritages in the country and the world. Children should respect and care for the environment. Thus, we can say the learning experiences on social sciences includes all around development of children. Apart from then, when we talk about the skills which can be developed through social science teachings can be problem solving and decision making understanding time and chronology as components of the measurement standard for the mathematics. They develop locating, acquiring and organizing information through reading, listening, viewing and communicating both orally and writing are all components of language developments. They can require citizenship skills and integral components of the goal of social and emotional development of the responsibility and are also emphasized in the responsible living curriculum. When we talk about the scope of the social sciences, it always emphasizes study of human relation, study of human made institutions, society related studies, study of past based incident in history, development of citizen related traits in political science, study of natural science and development in anthropology, study of relations based on internationalism. Contemporary social phenomena is changing day to day life. Contemporary social phenomena has changed the teaching of social science and entire scenario. Current society is fast growing society based on rapid development of science and technology. Every day we are seeing lot many changes in the technology and the sciences. Complexity, heterogeneity, diversity and differentiation in many sphere of life example, economics, political, cultural, religious, etc., characterize the current society, which are the very important part of development of any society. New social orders like modernization, industrialization, urbanization, specialization, automation, globalization, privatization, liberalization, planned development, etc., are the basic features of current society which are very essential part of development and social studies. New social values like democracy, socialism, secularism, liberty, equality, fraternity, justice, scientific temper, individual right, freedom, rationalistic thinking, etc. are the outcomes of modern social system, which should be the essential part of social science teaching. Wide range of social mobility, multi multiculturalism, Cultural pluralism, multilingualism, decline of all social traditions, etc. are rampant in modern society. Current society faces large number of new social problems and challenges like poverty, unemployment, exploitation based on capitalism, 
rural urban differences, development of slums, social alienation, population problem, family disorganization, social crimes, social unrest, regionalism, underdevelopment, environmental problem, to cope up with information and knowledge exposition, etc. Social science now does not contain only the history of kings and queens, battles and generals, but the story of the common man, his aspirations, achievements, surroundings, disappointments, success, defeats and failure. Thus, the modern social science has gone beyond the traditional status of an antiquarian and laser time pursuit to a very useful and indispensable part of a man's education. It is more scientific and more comprehensive. It has expanded in all directions both vertically and horizontally in our society and globe. It has become broad-based and attractive. The aims of modern social science teaching can be framed like this, adjustment and social cohesion, material and moral progress, welfare of individual and society, peace and justice for all, and harmony, equity and equality. These aims can be achieved by with it man is enabled to solve practical problems it helps in becoming an efficient citizen of democracy it has significance to develop an international viewpoint it helps forms man's social character it enlightens the path of progress and advancement and it is important for moral progress of society lastly important for institutions and communities by the teaching social science in this modern era, we are preparing students for dealing with social controversies, cultural change and manifold problems in the society, meaningful realization and appreciation for multiculturalism. We need to understand of self and other as life skills. We need to promote young people develop the ability to make informed as citizens of a culturally diverse democratic society in an interdependent world. We need to design to promote civic competence. Apart from that, social science education has in its goal the preparation of students to make and act on rational decision both as individual and as a group member, to develop a broad human interest in the progress of mankind in general and of India in particular, to develop a proper understanding of the social and geographical environment and to awaken and urge to improve it. We need to develop sense of responsible citizenship that provides social science in modern era. It has thus become a future-oriented study related to contemporary problems for all those reasons history and social science has assumed the role of a human science. It has become a social science apart from the human science and the community science and the society science. Thank you.